A pleasure to me all at last. And here it is time for some more HJN Season 3. So, I definitely have quite a ways to go here, but I'm quite excited that I actually get to talk about something for number 1988. This one in particular is all about add-ons. Specifically, the kind of add-ons that you might get for a certain digital download. Various app stores, Apple, Google, PlayStation, plenty of other app stores out there. And there are tons of different versions and lots of different things that you can find in every single one of them. But for the most part, I'm gonna be focusing on the various DLC or deluxe content packs that you might buy in addition to the game itself. Add-ons, by any means. They can basically relate to in-game currency, like gold ingots or points, depending on what game it is. It can relate to special packs, maps, levels, challenges, and then of course, side stories and quests. If I could name a few good examples, there's Doom Eternal, which came out in March 2020. But then later on in 2020, as well as into 2021, there were two DLC packs. A two-parter known as the Ancient Gods. This was a DLC, believe it or not, that I actually had the chance to play. And after about two and a half years, basically, ever since the game came out, I definitely gave it a shot. And might I say, the whole thing itself was pretty darn difficult. By Doom standards, it seemed worthy that we would be able to adhere to modernized controls, complex scheming, and various other bits instead of just sticking to a simple control function, like how it was 30 years ago. But then of course, another good DLC that I've basically talked a bit about would be all four of the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC packs. Basically, side stories. You have A New Power Awakens, Resurrection F, Trunks the Warrior of Hope, and the latest one that we have, Bardock Alone Against Fate. This came out over a year and a half since Trunks the Warrior of Hope was released in 2021. So, you probably would be wondering what exactly would I have to say about this new DLC. And with the rise of new upcoming DLC packs that DBZ Kakarot will be getting, I'm more than confident that the best Dragon Ball game that might have ever been made in the history of Dragon Ball games is going to get even better. Bardock Alone Against Fate proved so many times now. You can resurrect an old story from DBZ itself. And the, there's going to be another one. This will take place during the original Dragon Ball from the 80s. Yeah, so it seems that modern games based off of Dragon Ball are going to be adapting to older stories. Ones that haven't been told about in a long time. So I'm pretty confident that this new... OG Dragon Ball is finally going to get taught upon with this upcoming fifth DLC pack. So, and as for the sixth and final one that they've talked about, it's still a kind of a mystery. One could probably guess it's going to be about a more recent story like Tournament of Power or Broly or even Superhero, which I've talked about more on over and over in my life. I seriously hope that Superhero does eventually get touched up on in Dragon Ball games. Otherwise, I don't really know what else to say here. Now, those are just a few examples. And there's probably hundreds of others I could talk about, like the kind of add-ons you might find in games like the Call of Duty franchise, Riders Republic, Ark Survival Evolved, Minecraft, and various other games on all sorts of platforms. But let's make one thing clear. DLC packs, amongst any game that you can buy, are incredibly expensive. Just to buy a four hour long game, Bardock Alone Against Fate cost a $20 bill. Meanwhile, for the other three DLCs in DBZ Kakarot, I only ended up paying 12 bucks for a season pass. I got all three games for 12 bucks. That's $4 each, for the record. But that's five times more than any of those one DLC packs within the Season Pass price. I could basically pay for three DLC packs for DBZ Kakarot for 12 bucks, But for the fourth, had to pay 20 
So, I mean, is it worth it? Probably. The pricing might be questionable, but I can sure tell you, the gameplay itself definitely makes up for it. it. Has a heck of a story that thankfully has finally been getting more attention because of this. So, who knows what the future for DBZ Kakra will be like with all these new DLCs coming out and whatnot. I'm pretty excited about what else there could be. Until then though, we'll just see what happens. And with a new upcoming Dragon Ball Super anime itself? Oh man. Now I really can't wait for any of this. <clears throat> but I'm gonna have to. And I sure hope that you're ready because HGN as a whole is going to be steering more into detailed, descriptive messages. So it'll help make these episodes a bit longer and a bit more complicated than any of the others.